Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video on uh, how when I'm painting my seats to um, try and get, anyways, a nice crisp line on my patterns on my seats when I mask them off. And if you guys have ever, of course, tried this before, you know that probably the biggest challenge is trying to get the paint to lay down in this corner uh, without bleeding through on the sides and the ends here. Um, well, this video is going to be a little quickie. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, show you how I get this, or attempt to get this crisp uh, corner without any bleed through at the crease here. Um, this is my interior for my um, uh, Fus Impala. Uh, we've done our embossing powder on the parcel shelf and the uh, and the carpet, so it's ready to start putting interior together. But anyway, we're going to get this out of the way <clears throat> and show you a little a little uh, little tip. At least what I do anyway. <clears throat> There's probably other ways to do this, but anyway, hang on a sec. So let's get this out of the way. So if you um, Basically, rather than try and one piece this and try and get the, this crease to lay down, it's next to impossible without getting um, bleed through from either side. So what I do is I do it in two pieces, lay the back on, lay the, the bottom butt part on, uh, cut out my pattern, and of course with the with the foos seats, what I did was I sprayed them orange first and then masked off <clears throat> Uh, the orange portion that I wanted to save and then sprayed it with my um, uh, flat black or flat gun excuse me um, and then of course just about before it's dry is pull the tape off really careful um, so if you do this in actually two pieces one down the back one down the butt and then you take my best friend um, Elmer's adhesive tack and hang on one sec can we zoom this out anymore no, we can't. Okay, hang on. We're going to take a little tiny piece of this. We're going to rip a piece of this off. And same as doing spark plug wires, we're going to roll this out. And we're going to try and get a really thin, really thin, bear with me guys, a really thin little string. You don't want it too big because the bigger you make it, the more Elmer's adhesive tech you got to work with when I'm going to show you what you got to do. <clears throat> All right, close enough. Now we're going to take our blade, figure out what width of this length we need to do here, roughly. Uh, eeny, miny, miny, kind of a boat like so. And I'm going to take this, try and take this. Oh, come on, cooperate. There we go. Well, oh, maybe. Yep. And we're going to pick that up and we're going to lay that down. <clears throat> Need three hands sometimes. And we're going to lay this down and try and stay in frame. We're going to lay that down there. And now what we're going to do, hang on, got to get my goggles down so I can see what I'm doing. Hold on. Stay in frame. See if it'll focus. Hope this is in focus. And what we're going to do is we're going to tack this down in the corner here. We're going to worry about the edges in a second, but I want to make sure that we get this all sealed off first. Okay, now that that's laid down and the edge is sealed back there, we're going to work on the on this line right along here. And I'm going to take my toothpick. You could do this with a flat blade or a surgical blade too, but I find a toothpick is... Uh, for the girls I go with is going to be close enough. So that side's pretty square. I'll flip it around. And we're going to do this side. And just lightly give it a little tap and a squeeze. You want the toothpick that's got a fairly sharp end on it. Because you want to get into the groove down here. And just keep working it. And then when you got it looking pretty good you're ready for basically spray anyway guys uh, give it a try um, this Elmer's adhesive tack I use it for all kinds of things I do it for my mock-up of my bodies and chassis and dashboards and interiors before I 
when I start my planning for my my builds and um, holding suspension pieces in place to see my offsets and what wheel clearance I've got and mocking up motor before I um, get it in chassis. It's wonderful stuff. So pick up yourself some Elmer's adhesive tack. Uh, the orange stuff, not the blue, not the white. Uh, blue's too hard. Uh, white's too soft, and orange is just perfect. And it's reusable. It always stays pliable. Anyway, pick yourself up some of the stuff, guys. It's got wonderful stuff, and it's got tons of different uses. Give that a try next time you're trying to paint your seats and trying to get, rather than just one solid color seat, and you want to start doing patterns. Um, excellent stuff to get into those places, and especially in the corners. Anyway, guys, uh, talk to you soon. Uh, build on the Impala is going pretty good. Uh, we're just uh, probably going to spray body today and start assembling the interior. Anyway, catch you later. Bye.